Hey guys, how are you doing? Are you ready for drawing time? Awesome, I'm so excited. All week long, we've been drawing things that you could find at the jungle. So, I'm gonna get on my jungle hat, and today, we're gonna go see another thing you can draw in the jungle. We've been drawing some animals, we drew a drum, but you know what else is in the jungle? There's these beautiful waterfalls and rivers that flow through the forest. And waterfalls, man, they are so beautiful. They're basically a giant cliff where water comes and falls off the cliff. That's why they call it a waterfall. And there's all sorts of bubbles and things that happen when they fall into the river. And lots of animals like to come around and be near the waterfall. So. I thought we should wrap up the week by drawing a waterfall at our jungle. What do you think? Okay, great. We're gonna do the drawing today in four parts. First of all, we're gonna draw it with our pencil, draw the basic shapes. Then we're gonna go with our black marker and we're going to ink back over the shapes. And then we're going to add some color with our colored pencils. And then we might even draw a few more things at the very end. Okay, ready? Here we go. Alrighty, so our waterfall. We gotta start by figuring out where our cliff is gonna be. So I'm gonna start really high at the top of the page and I'm just gonna kinda draw a line with my pencil, pretty light, and that's gonna be the top of our cliff. And you can go ahead and draw some big rocks. Leave a little space and then draw another big rock over here. And I'm actually gonna make that rock start a little bit earlier, so, oops. <laughs> I can just erase it though, that's fine. There's usually big rocks right before the waterfall where, where water's gonna fall. Nice. And then, this is where the water is up here. This is the top of the cliff and we're gonna pretend it falls down. So the way to do that is to take your pencil and you're just gonna bring it down and then lightly lift up. Bring your pencil down and then lift it off the page, just like that. Some of them can be longer, some of them can be shorter. But the main thing is to draw really straight lines and then just kind of lift your pencil at the end so they don't, they don't just start and stop. You want it to kind of slowly fade out. So that's why you lift your pencil up. Nice. And I think I'm gonna erase this line and this line so it's a little bit of a skinnier waterfall. And it's gonna fall down here and then at the bottom of the waterfall, remember how I said a bunch of things happen? Well, what happens is the water hits another kind of big pond or river with water and it makes a bunch of splashes. You know how like in the bathtub, if you turn on the faucet and a bunch of water comes out and it splashes all around? That's what happens here. So to draw those splashes, we're gonna draw kind of curvy lines, like the letter C. If you ever wrote the alphabet, A, B, C, we're gonna draw the letter C here, and then the letter C there, and the letter C on its side, and the other way, letter C. And you're just gonna draw a bunch of them. Some of them are big, some of them are little and they're kind of all coming away from the waterfall at the bottom here. And then it just looks like, oh, there's a bunch of bubbles and things happening. Really nice there, guys. Okay, and then usually there's a lot of plants growing around the waterfall because they wanna try to suck up some of the water with their roots. So I'm gonna draw just kind of a fluffy tree and a little curvy line right here for its stem and maybe a few other curvy lines to show some other trees. And let's do the same thing over here, a big tree and curvy line. And then at the very top here, you can kind of look off in the distance. There's probably sky and maybe there's like some other bushes or things, but there might also be some mountains. So for that, I'm just drawing a swiggly line. I'm letting it go up and down, up and down. And, and there's our waterfall, guys. Really nice. Okay, so that was part one. High five, you finished it. Now we're gonna go into part two. Part two is where you get out your black marker and you're gonna draw back over all of your pencil lines. Okay, ready? Let's go. Very nice, guys. And guess what? You just finished part two. High five. Well, this is great. You have your finished drawing of a waterfall. So if you want to stop here, that's fine. But if you want to keep going, let's go to part three. For part three, we're going to color it in. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's color in our waterfall. So where should we start? Let's start with our waterfall. <laughs> I'm going to take my light blue pencil 
and I'm just going to go up and down. I could go back and forth like this, but going up and down, I think kind of goes well with the shape of the water falling down. So you can do that if you want. Coloring it all in. When I get to the top here, I'm, I'm doing smaller up and downs just so I can kind of control where it starts and stops. And then I'm just bringing those on down. You can push down a little bit harder on some spots, maybe the spots closer to the black lines. And you can, be, you can go lighter in other spots. It's whatever you like. And then just kind of let it, don't color it all the way down here. Now for this part, this part I think we're just going to leave most of it white. Because sometimes where water hits other water, it bubbles up and makes white bubbles. So you don't have to color it in blue. But what you can do is draw a few little fluffy bits with your blue to kind of blend it out a little bit better. So it doesn't look like the color just stops. It looks like it kind of fades out. So I'm going to draw some curly cue lines with my blue. and You can add just a little bit of blue out here too if you want. Oh, that looks really good. Nice. Okay, and then let's draw those big rocks. So for that, I'm going to get out my gray pencil, and I'm just going to color in some of those rocks there. There's one. There's another. Nice. That was pretty easy. You can go back if you want the other way and color it in just so everyone can really see all the nice rock there. And then what about some trees? I think I'm going to use my dark green for this. I'm just going to color in those trees. For this I'm going to do kind of curly Q shapes. I'm kind of making circles with my pencil and I'm bringing it in. Isn't it funny how many different ways you can color something? You can go up and down, back and forth, curly Q, zigzag. And all of them have their use, have their purpose. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. For this one, I think I'm just going to go up and down because it's a little bit faster. Nice. Ooh, does your arm ever get tired of coloring? Mine does sometimes. <laughs> okay, and then I think I'm going to use some brown and just color in those trunks there. A few more trunks over here. And then, usually there's, these are big cliffs, and usually you get plants growing up on the cliffs too. And maybe they're a different color green, so I'm just going to kind of put some splotches of green on. And I'm just going to kind of color different ways, change the, change the way I'm coloring to make them look like they're maybe patches of grass or moss or something growing. And I'm going to use some darker greens too. And I think I'll go back in with some gray and put some gray spots in there also. Nice. Okay, let's color in those bushes at the top too. Don't want to forget those guys. And then the mountains. Mountains are really beautiful. In my drawing, I'm going to make them purple. I guess they're kind of going to be a purpley blue now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> but um, you can make them brown if you want. You could give them little white snowy tops. Anything works. Okay, and then let's add a little bit of blue sky. What do you say? So we're we'll going back to our light blue and just kind of filling in the sky there. Maybe it's a beautiful day at the waterfall. Who knows? Maybe it just rained. And the waterfall is really flowing. <laughs> All right, guys. And you know what? You just finished part three. High five. Your waterfall looks really great. All right. Well, before we wrap up, you know, I was thinking all week long. What did we draw? Let's see if we can remember. What did we draw? We drew oh, t a tiger, a blue tiger, and then a snake that slithers through the trees. And then a monkey, oh, ah, who was eating bananas. Oh, and then a big drum. These are all things you can find in the jungle. And now we've drawn a waterfall. What would it look like if all of our creatures were maybe at the waterfall playing the big drum? You want to find out? All right, let's see.
Wow, guys. All right, and we finished our drawing. Now we got to see what it looks like when all the creatures of the jungle came together. Let's look. We have, oh look, we have the blue tiger. She's over here looking at the monkey who's playing the drum right there. Oh, and there's a the big snake up in the tree. He wants to check it out too and be part of the action. And they're all in front of the big waterfall in the big jungle. Wow, guys, well, this is cool. And you know what? This is something you can do too because now you know how to draw a tiger and a monkey and a snake and a drum and a waterfall. You can now put it all together in one big picture. That's another really cool thing about art. You can always create even more masterpieces from the old masterpieces that you created. Awesome, guys. Well, thanks for drawing with me this week. This has been lots of fun going into the jungle. Please send me a picture of all of your drawings. I'd like to see them and send me an idea of something else we should draw next. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.